here with Justin Berlinson. Justin, tough first round. How hard were you in those early exchanges? And what was the mindset going into the second round? Because it was one-way traffic from there. Um, I, felt, I felt like I was actually, actually in like a, a bit of a rocky fight, to be fair, because the first round, um, he did hurt us pretty bad. Uh, one of the shots, I felt it like in my legs where it sort of like went through my head and to my legs straight away. And I felt that shot a little bit. Um, and then I could start to feel like the blood trickling down. And I actually started to get some like negative thoughts in my head, which is which is normal. Like obviously some fighters might not admit it, but I was definitely getting some negative thoughts when I was hurt. Then I sort of like just getting like flashbacks of like the past like 18 months and just everything that happened. And I was just like, nah, I'm not going down. No chance. I'm going to die. I'm going to die before and I go down. Yeah, it was a crazy 18 months. You know, you've been through so much. Obviously, like the surgery for cancer. You had a knee surgery. You became a dad. I mean, this win must be really special. Yeah, I would, I would say one probably one of the most special wins of me career up to now. Especially, like, coming back after all that and, ha like, having a daughter and um, getting through cancer, knee surgery. Um, it's been tough on on the mind, especially especially when I was out just not training um, and injured and like sort of just sitting around just in your own thoughts. It did get a little bit dark like for a while, but I was I was new like I was just waking up every day thinking like I'm gonna get back to this. And just before I, I walked out, actually, I felt like I got like a a feeling I never got before where I was like I'm back, I'm I'm here, I'm doing it, I'm doing it again. And you've been so open about, you know, like the whole process and the surgery and all that. You said you're more appreciative about everything in life. I know you're also hoping it's going to help others if they feel something isn't quite right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind speaking about it like any time or to anyone just because I feel like the the symptoms I got, I could have I could have dealt with it earlier if I knew what the symptoms were about. But obviously I was clueless on everything. And obviously now I've got more of an insight in there or like the details around uh, the symptoms and cancer and stuff like that. So um, I'm, I'm open to free like to talk to anyone really because you know it, it could be the difference between catching it early and catching it a little bit too late and exactly. and not being able to deal with it. So um, uh, anyone wants to talk, just reach out, give us a message if if you're getting any symptoms. I mean, I've had, I've had quite a lot of messages, people reaching out and asking us about my symptoms because obviously when I said the bad when I said it started with a bad back. Who hasn't had a bad back? Exactly. You know what I mean? But um, uh, yeah, I do too, and I know I don't have testicular <laughs> cancer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it's there is a lot of different symptoms, but I'm open to free to talk to anyone if they want to drop us a message and or jump on a call. I'll, I'll speak to anyone. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, shout out to Aaron Abbey as well. That's one person I, I, I reached out to myself and nice. spoke to him and see how he dealt with getting back to training after and stuff like that. And it, mm -hmm. He was uh, He jumped on the call. He literally messaged straight back like two minutes later, saying, "Send us your number. I'll give you a ring." And uh, I was on the phone for him a little while and just starting catching up. Um, so shout out to Aaron Abbey. Yeah, that's amazing. And you were so close to becoming a Cage Warriors champion. I know a lot has happened since. Obviously, are you hoping to make another run for it? Um, I, I don't know what the future holds. Really, like the past, the past few months have just been about just getting getting here at the day and just getting the win and. Now I'm just looking to have a couple of weeks off. Obviously, let the face heal and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and have a nice Christmas. My first Christmas with me girlfriend and daughter, mm -hmm. uh, Nelly. So it's going to be a special, special year. And the dad's strength, is that a real thing? <laughs> yeah, I, I actually think it is, to be fair. Because like, I, felt, I felt really strong tonight, actually. So and, and even when I've been back to training after the baby, I felt like... I got a little bit stronger. I don't know if it's just a boost in mm -hmm. manliness or yeah, whatever, extra, uh, extra, extra dadness or whatever. But I do, I do feel stronger, so right. that's good. Well, I'm so happy that you're healthy again. Thank, I know your eyes really bothering you right yeah, now. So yeah. thank you for still doing yeah. this interview yeah. with me, and congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate that.